Hey everyone and welcome back to another No Man's Sky guide. Today I'm going to show you how to use several techniques to create scenic shots without having to use the camera mode. Now the reason why we're doing that is because the camera mode, if you go into your camera and you go to photo mode, everything freezes. So the only way this works is when you have people joining you in game, then the photo mode will become animated. So please, Hello Games, we would really want to see an option to turn animation on so we can make actual video while recording this, so we can have animation, so we can decide we want the sun in a certain direction, we would like to have the sun going down, we want to have different atmosphere, we want to add the filters, that would be a great way. And also, while we're at it, please, can somebody just work on this so that when I'm putting vignette on zero, it just saves it so I don't have to do this every time I'm going in photo mode. Now, all right, with that all said, this is the problem with photo mode. It is static. Everything is just still. If you want to do a build and everything is frozen, that's just, that's just no fun. So today I'm going to show you two techniques, well, two and a half, where you can get an animated shot and still have a very nice look. So the first one we're going to be doing, I'm right here at uh, the Griffin and Pegasus, which are my airships built after Frontiers. So the first one I want to show you is by using the base computer. So if you go to the base computer and you go inside the base computer, you will have a button here called Capture New Base Screenshot. So if I select this, I will now have a camera mode with everything animated, as you can see, everything is moving. So I can use this to film actual scenery of my bases. The only thing you will need to do, you will have to crop your screen, either by scaling it up or just making a letterbox around it so that you have the widescreen look, a little bit like a real movie. And that way you can hide the take screenshot bar on the bottom there. The problem with this, of course, is that the camera has a very limited radius. So if I'm going to zoom further out, I'm hitting that bubble. That means that here I'm stuck. I cannot go any further with my camera. I only have this area where I can film in. And every time I'm hitting this, it's going to show up. So we have to reshoot the image. So what we can do is we can just say, you know what? I would like to have a shot from another place. Um, I, I want it from here. I want to have the center point here. So what you can do, we go into your build menu. You take your base computer there. You say move. You take it. And you move it to the location here. This here will be the center point of your camera. So you can just go into the screenshot again. And now you are now able again to take a screenshot. But now from that center point right there. So now you can have a much further distance with your camera, which allows you to make a nice animated shot. So I can now move my camera and you can control the camera the same way as you would control your camera mode, your photo mode. So now I can just uh, use the screenshot mode to do my recording. If you're using this, you will have to always shoot it in the time zone. You have no control over day or time. You will have to do it when it is actually happening. But this is a great way to do some recording. And as I said, just uh, scale it up or do some letterboxing and it should make your video looking very, very clean. All right. So that was the first technique. This is by using the base computer's screenshot mode. So the next one I want to do right now is show you how to use the no HUD. If I go into my uh, options and we go to options here and then we go to general options and I turn off HUD like this. Now you will see that there is nothing here anymore seen. So everything is taking off the screen. So now I have a clean screen. What you can do as well, you can just go into your um, shortcut menu below. There's a shortcut menu where you can charge, where you can go to your camera mode. And there on the left side, you have utilities. You go into your utilities and then you select toggle camera view. And that is going to turn this to first person view, which now will allow you to do panning shots. So you will be able to just use your character to just look around and create a panning shot that is also, of course, uh, animated. Uh, the problem here with using the character, and especially if you're using it as a still shot, you will notice that it will go into this breathing mode. So if I'm acting and leave it alone, you will see that my character is breathing and the camera is moving slightly. And this happens very gently, but if you speed up your footage, you will notice that this is really noticeable. So it really is moving up and down. For the next one, we will have to reload our save because you want to start fresh and you need to follow a certain sequence before it works. 
do not do anything right now. Now you go into your options. This is the first step. You go into your options, go to general options and turn off your HUD. That's step one. Then after that, we go into a shortcut menu and we activate our first person view. That's two. Now you go into your build menu. So you just press up. That will show you the build menu. Select a building part and then just simply toggle to the wire and now cycle from the wire to the byte beat cable. Now, as you can see, this camera screen is now completely free. There's only one text up there. It says cannot build must attach to structure. If you're following the sequence that I just showed you, it will push your menu up into the screen and you will not see it anymore in front of your building items. So it's very easy to just scale it up slightly and it's going to be gone. Now I just go into my build camera mode, press it, and now I have my build camera activated and I can use it as a camera as well. There's two things you need to take an account of from is that wherever your cursor is pointing at, it will light up the area. So if you don't want this to happen, the best thing is just to make sure that you're shooting right next to the object so the light is not affecting it. But if you play it smart, you can actually make this look like a very nice uh, effect. The other thing you need to take an account for is your character's building beam, which is really ugly, especially if you're making a video and then you have this red beam showing up while you're recording. It's definitely not great. All right, so now that these two are out of the way, one more tip is to keep your character on terrain because if you're using a floor and you go way too far with your camera, your character will fall through the floor or the building parts. Now, the advantage of this build camera is that I can simply go to the out of bounds here when I'm at the exit and we'll just use the extension for our build camera. This is by pressing twice the build camera. So if you press the button for the build camera once, it goes back to your character. But if you press it twice shortly, it will just simply reset to the location you are. So if I press this, now the center of my camera is right here where I was before. And now I can go and go even further and zoom out. Uh, I hope to see No Man's Sky bringing an animated camera out. It would make it so much easier without having to constantly waiting for the right time of day and things like that. If you enjoyed this video or if you have any more questions, please leave them below in the comments here on the video. Also press that thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as usual, I will see you all again next time. This was Beobum. Goodbye for now.